My name is uh, Ines Futri. I am 23 years old okay. and I play golf in a national Indonesia national team. And then last year I got I'm very fortunate to have won the Miss Indonesia competition. So I was the Miss Indonesia 2012 and I had a chance to go to Miss World and then I made it to top 15 so that was pretty cool. And then I just passed my crown two days ago to the next Miss Indonesia. So now I'm a, I'm a golfer, but I'm a golfer again. I started playing golf when I was 12 years old. Um, my mom actually played for the Bali team, because I'm from Bali. And then she actually, yeah, she was in a national team and stuff. And my dad also played, but he's like a weekend golfer. And then my brother also competes uh, for the Bali team. So like uh, the whole family plays golf basically. So I started playing at 12. And then at the age of 13, I won my first big tournament, which is the Governor Cup. And I was the youngest and the first female to ever won the tournament so my name was put in the museum so it was really cool and then since then I started to really focus on my golf more so I I uh, went to a lot of tournaments I started to compete for Indonesia I play in Thailand and in Singapore and everywhere and then when I was 15 I moved to David Ledbetter Golf Academy in Florida to study golf to study and to also pursue my golf career so and then I got a golf scholarship to University of Georgia 2007 and then in 2004 I actually won the national tournament uh, I was a gold and a silver medalist in there and then I won a few tournaments uh, during my time as a junior and also amateur and I play for Indonesia national team uh, it's really amazing it's like a dream come true it's like a different experience because I used to just grow up playing golf and then playing sports so I'm a really a tomboy girl and I'm not used to this pageant thing I wear heels like uh, maybe twice in a year or something and I don't have a lot of dresses but then after I won like every day I have to wear a dress and heels and then actually the first week after I won I couldn't walk because I was like you know I got injured because of heels not because of golf and then it was really amazing because I get to meet a lot of new people experience a lot of cool things and then especially when I went to Miss World I get to see a lot of uh, 115 other contestants from all over the world learn their like language learn their culture learn about everything and then of course being able to do to give back to pe uh, my people in Indonesia as Miss Indonesia and then also to represent my country and it's just a different experience and it's really amazing uh, actually the, the biggest thing that I learned about myself is that I actually I can come off from my comfort zone and even though it's a two totally different world I can actually do it like so if I put my heart into it and my put heart into anything that I do I can do anything so like at first I was just I thought I could just do sports and golf but then like I tried something different and I was really worried but then I put my focus into it and I did it so I, I believe that I can achieve anything if I focus and I will I work hard my advice would be uh, keep it simple but then keep it um, keep it short <laughs> I like something short and then also colorful because uh, on the golf course everything is green you want to put something like pink and stuff so then you, people can see you from far away you know and then you want to you want to wear like a nice mini skirt you know so it can show your legs a little bit and then really cool shoes and then just uh, most importantly is you need to be confident because whatever you wear if you don't feel com uh, confident you're not going to be comfortable and then you're not going to be able to play well and then you're not going to look well because even though you're wearing something simple, but if you're confident, people can see it from far away. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what's cool. Hopefully, I'm gonna turn pro next year. I'm gonna try to compete in the SEA Games team this year to, for Indonesia and Myanmar. And then uh, for now, for after this, I'm just gonna start playing and regain everything back because I stopped playing for a year mm -hmm. because of this Indonesia. So I'm gonna start playing again, start focusing again, and hopefully if I do well this year, I'm gonna turn pro next year and start playing an Asian tour and then gradually uh, make my way up hopefully to the LPGA <laughs>